even if I wasn't playing, I, I wasn't technically playing a game every day, but I was technically playing the game every day. So yeah, like playing one matchup's not is just necessarily a good idea all the time because at, at the same point, aside from your muscle memory only knowing that you're gonna be great at that matchup, but when you play against another, if you don't have the knowledge, you're not gonna be able to do that. And of course, yeah, playing between two different characters helps. Again, that's why you should play another character. Most especially if your style changes on a different character, because for some players they play their they play that character the same way they play every every other character. I am still in game. Radmin Hamachi, <laughs> indeed. I've been playing more AK because my sticks broken and went back bad. Yeah, yeah. There's a ton of AK tips, courtesy of Jif. You're replying to yourself? <laughs> Wait, my comment section's not going down. And there's Ethan the Berserker going non-stop. Oh, I noticed we have like the same outfit. We got the same drip. Hmm. Oh, there it. That's a min. No, back to resplant, solid, boom, boom, boom. Gotta get it. Wait, there was a comment I missed. Like, I've been doubting what I think I can do. That's more mindset related, right? No, it's not Vesper, man. Deanna loves cheese. Like, I feel you. Like, it's more... If that's the case, it's more mental than anything else, right? And that becomes a you problem. So no matter how much advice or anecdotal stuff we give you, or even solid numbers from other esports, That's more of a you thing than anything else. Great break. Time traveling detective versus the the exorcist. <laughs> Indeed it is. Ouch! That wasn't fair. Well, it's no, it it was. <laughs> Bagalko. Hmm. So, it's just a matter of what method you take in order to get better, essentially. I should have punch parried that. Because there was a time wherein I didn't think my Huang was really getting anywhere. And that's when I still didn't really have a solid secondary. So I was like, okay, let me stay away from Huang because right now it's not doing me any good. And I was like, let me try a secondary character right now. And then I, I played Miguel. And then I was doing so well with Miguel, I was like, okay, let's go back to Horang now. I'm feeling better. Miguel's neutral was a lot easier to learn said the if one. But the problem was it was always so predictable. So at least with Horang, I was able to change that with, you know, a, a different layer and stuff like that. But I had to learn that off another character or like playing it off, playing off outside of the character. Like I didn't stay on him forever. But that's like because I played a different character. So like, that was my solution to it. You could still play it on the same character, completely possible. The method is just basically on you. Round two. Fight. Now I mean that's why I said it could be it could be stamina is what I'm saying. Like if you look at our set, that most recent set right now, that could be stamina. Like you're doing so well. And then at the middle of it, you fall off. But the thing is, we we have a lot of the information at our disposal, luckily. Oh no. Good reach. And for the most part, my adjustments didn't change and neither did yours. Well, like we weren't really doing anything different aside from like probably trying to sneak in a throw or two, right? So it's it was probably just more or less stamina. And at the same time, experience, right? Experience is super, super important. So it's like, okay, so this is how I play when I'm starting to fall off, right? So what do I do? Essentially, do. Did you just go under my DF1? You did. What do I do to, like, get myself back up? And for real, of cheese. In, in those situations, right? Did you? Oh, come on. That's three whiffs in a row. <laughs> That's crazy.
I might. I, it's a yes and no. I might be. It's a whole 50 50 in itself. Because the adjustments are gonna be mainly on you. I could give you some information here and there, give you some tips here and there, but it might not be fully applicable to you. That's why you gotta take a lot of stuff with, you know, the right amount of salt. <laughs> and my recommendation for any player has always been get all the information, test everything out, and then see what works best for you. Uh huh. Don't hop kick. Don't hop kick. You're not plus there, eh? You're not plus there. You are not plus there. If he hits competitive three with player, regardless of how you're feeling up here, you have to be able to bring it. So you have to t you have to ask yourself, how do I play in those type of situations? Or like when I'm like that. So you ask yourself, how do I play while I'm in this type of condition? Solid whiff punisher here from Ethan. And at the end of the day, it's like align everything with your goal. So again, what are you playing Tekken for? Why do you want to play Tekken competitively, right? And at the same time, do you really need to play the game competitively? Oh, he didn't do running too. Man, the Berserker indeed. This is more offense. A lot, a lot of... Okay. Okay. It's like last time. Ethan was like showing me a bunch of new stuff. A lot of new cheese. Man, too many Lucky Chloe situations. I know it's a it's a it's a, it it might be an it might be something that takes a long time to answer and find a solution for, or it could be something that's you know it'll take a shorter time right. So I'm rooting for you. Good luck, but don't rush it either. I wouldn't rush it. That's like the main thing. I, I wouldn't rush it. Because could, that could that could like affect your gameplay a lot, like if you Five, rush it, Fight. and you'll just be extremely frustrated with the game, the, with the game and yourself. Was I like that at one point? Yeah, I kind of was. <laughs> That's when like Mehuang was kind of going nowhere. That probably be my biggest advice or biggest tip that I can give out of everything everyone out of everything I've said. That's probably the best one I can give. Don't rush it. You attract the things you want the most, right? The the things you hate. Man, I hate money. I hate money. I don't want money. <laughs> I don't want money. The law of attraction 101, baby. Boom. 10 seconds. Oh, great. Hey, you got what you wanted. Like, hey, I'm gonna go far. I believe it. You won, you won half the battle already at that point by believing. Huh. That Oki's big. Sakal on the, the drop combos. He'd be right with Ethan right now, and the Berserker. Surprise. I saw him. Man! No. Whiff. Cheese Keeper. Okay, I have a chance. I have a chance. I have a chance. I have a chance. Yay! <laughs> Five slices of cheese. Two, one. Thank goodness. No three. No three. Because maybe he's experimenting on something new, right? He's like, ah, this is this is this is the new thing to do. This is this is legit. Man, did he just? He did. He ducked right after FF4. Haha! <laughs> I saw you. Haha! <laughs> Hop kick. Alright. So not SS4. FF uh, something bigger, usually. That is not really a punish, but yeah. My goal is to taunt Snake catch everybody. He's like, he's like, zoom in on the camera. Everybody. <laughs> okay, you got three snake edges on me, man. And it wasn't even a taunt snake, taunt snake edge. I think it was like solid, just a regular snake edge for most part. What was I doing there? I mean, yeah, if the best player in the game is doing it, people will be like, oh, he's probably on to something. And most of the time, he usually is anyway. So 
sayang. No, but that was terribly set up. That's not gonna work. It was terribly set up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but so I hope that helps. You know, a lot of other guys had had certain answers and shared their experiences here. So I hope you find your answers soon, Brownie. Boom. Let me focus now on the game, because Ethan is beating my butt. He's <laughs> not He's not stopping with this offense. Stop! Let me go. Let me go. Let me. <laughs> it's the same as the last one, the last time we played in Cheese Dojang. Oh wow, crazy range, channeling my inner Paul Phoenix. Not like that though. No, it's always gonna duck after FF4. Okay, what if I just literally back three after FF4? I'm gonna do it. I'll challenge it. What am I doing? What am I doing? Let me breathe, indeed. Just let me breathe. Man. He hit three, we're going to a wall of stage right? combo, right? Super important to lab. So I wonder if I win here, he's gonna swap back to wall. Or will he play me at my game? That was a great flop. What am I doing? What am I doing? Mm hmm That didn't work. That didn't work. Do something, Frontier. Do something. <laughs> Do something. Cheese Keeper. Oh, that could have been a punish. That could have been a huge punish. Because Claudia while standing 2 will reach that. Yes. Yes. 22 seconds left on that clock. The Berserker. 1898 to 879. Oh, he's just missing the 1k as well. Benoit loves cheese. One, two. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. That's kind of relying on that. I let go of the stick. That was an accident. Thank goodness I didn't get launched there. One, two. This will not kill. Man, that both whiff. <laughs> plus one, plus one. Again, the last hit of air raid. The cheesy ladder kicks is plus one. If you're gonna challenge it, do a down jab or a basic down four, which I believe Claudia has. That's not fair. Oh, that's a trade I'll take. Stop whiffing! Is that a fair trade? No, it isn't. BNB, 75 damage. Is it on point? It is! Know your cheese. You <laughs> is that a hotline there, delivery? Man, it was right there. <laughs> oh, air raid for round enders. Okay, okay. That's his thing. Ouch. Really? Okay. That's fine. No, that was on hit! That was on hit! Man, he really caught that. Alright. Yeah, just, just bring a hole, a hole. Like, if you're, if you're there, in person, you just keep going to the machine to refill your gravy every time. What Soldier Girl song? One, two. Don't skip leg day! Oh yeah, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh no, let's not low! We're not going! Five slices of cheese for Ethan. That's his thing indeed. Oh, that's why he died. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He liked it. <laughs> he was pleased with the cheese. One, two, three, four. Try Popeyes, it is okay. I'm away, it's, it's like, it's aight. There is no waiting, okay. There is no guessing on the mix-ups. Noted. The only, there's only like room for, to guess once.
So there's only room to guess once. I have to move fast. Okay. That's what I mean by while stand cloud is while standing too. It has a really long reach. Wow. That was pretty damn good. That was seriously good. Just treated a soup, <laughs> bruh. Oh, they don't have it yet? Maybe, maybe soon. Ethan, slamming it down, hammering That's down is actually a good thing, but yeah. Now, okay. Oh, that wasn't SS4? It wasn't. Definitely looked like it. Oh, I did the weaker combo. Thank goodness the five bus plus five HP didn't do there. Round two. Fight. Hey, you gotta stop yourself. <laughs> you gotta stop spending money on those free-to-play games, man. That was a great punish. It's just that the DF1 hitbox just doesn't exist. Man, you've been watching, you've been watching all these horns, huh? Solid confirm. I can't, bro! <laughs> Give yourself a spending limit at least. Thank goodness. I need to adopt a style. Yeah, that's the first thing you gotta do. Well, not necessarily. You can probably let the style come to you. You don't have to tell yourself, I want to do this style immediately. Or you can practice all the styles, right? You practice every single style and be like, oh, you know what? This is the one that fits best. It's getting intense. Will I spend money on Kenshin when you play by K end of our win counts? Round one. You gotta focus, gotta concentrate, got Oh, that line is actually Josie's, huh? Man, he almost had that one. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Solid. Solid punish. I tried all the other games. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Indeed, I've only seen Bats play. Yeah, he's the most high profile one. But there's a ton of others. You just have to watch all the other other Horangs. No, no, that's the point. Like not knowing what you're what you're doing. So you go back to the learning process. Are you kidding me? The second hit, he has your secret sauce. He's got Mr. Brownie's secret sauce. Press. Okay. That's a mood. I'd really learn DVFC if there were people on my level. No, yeah, they already are. Like, majority of the scene, or at least within our scene, are already pretty decent. Okay.
No. But well, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Press. Yes. One, two, three. Woo. Man, I'm really drawing it out here, huh? No change of outfit too. All right. Oh, wall splat. Solid combo. I missed that. Two slices of red cheese. All right, all right. Off to a good start. Want to keep it that way? Yes. One, two, three. Seven slices. All right. Ahead. Got a buffer. I actually could have ducked 4 3. Thank goodness I caught him early, or else the DF1 wouldn't have worked. Okay. 1 2 F3. Okay. Solid. Don't give him that. Boom. 1 2. Rage art? Okay, I have a buffer. I have a buffer. I have a buffer. Round four. Fight. D2. That's fine. Don't give him. Okay. Decent enough for a combo. Beautiful. I need to do it. I need to do it. Rage Art. Yes. Woo. That was intense. Those last three games. Good games to Eaton. Good games. 17 sevens. 17 seconds. And you're the gazer. MJ loves cheese. Air Raid. Air Raid. Air Raid. Raid! <laughs> <laughs>